Um, in addition, I just wanted to also welcome Dr. Trouty Allen here today as well. Oh, Trouty Allen. Uh, and Trouty is um, um, the author of an essay on Rachel Rabbe's work, which is printed out here. And I commend you yeah. to, to pick that up and read it because it's a wonderful uh, review of this body of work. And I won't say any more about it, it's self explanatory, but uh, Trouty, we welcome mm. you here today as well. So without further ado, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce Don Henry uh, to open the show. And uh, Don is the Executive Director of the Australian Conservation Foundation. Don Henry. Thanks, Terry. <laughs> Terry, thank you very much. Rachel, I feel totally honoured and privileged to be here, and I hope I can explain that in a short while. But I also feel totally inadequate because I'm not pretending to be an art critic. But I know your work speaks for itself, and I know those who have great expertise speak for how great your fine art is. Just a hundred years ago, around the world, so this is 9,900 9, years after this very early, one of the first urban settlements, uh, Two out of ten people in the world lived in urban settlements. So a hundred years ago, 9,900 years after this very early urban settlement in northern Israel, eight out of ten people were not living in urban settlements. Fast forward to 1990, by that time, 40% of the global population, four out of ten, were living in urban environments. 2010, the latest data, just a bit more than 50% of the world's population lives in urban environments. The projections by 2050 are that seven out of 10 people will live in urban environments. So just think about that for a sec, from that very humble beginnings 10,000 years ago, we've seen this massive escalation of how many of us live in urban environments just in the last hundred years. And that's continuing our pace. And in fact, we have one of the most urbanised societies on earth in Australia, with about 90% of Australians living in urban environments. So it's actually really something, well, it's 10,000 years old, but it's quite new for the experience of the majority of people on Earth. Rachel, what you're doing, I think, is part of a very important new trend. And that's connecting us with the environment that's most familiar for most of us in our everyday lives, which is urban Australia and in the urban environment. And you're doing it in a way that lets us contemplate our relationship, not just with each other, but with that environment. And I think this is quite, quite new, and I think it's profoundly important. And I'll touch on that now, if I may. Um, for me, we'll all see something different in Rachel's work, but for me, I see something that's immediately familiar, and at the same time, unfamiliar. And I think that's part of the genius of your work, and it draws me into it. And it makes me ask some pretty tough questions of myself. Um, for instance, there's no people in most of your paintings. Uh, it took me a little while to work that out because they feel so familiar, but there's no people in most of them. And that makes me think about the question of connectedness with our natural world. Now, Rachel, for me, your paintings take me right into that space. And it's partly because there are people there. I can put myself there. The familiar can be unfamiliar. And it makes me curious about these issues. Because when you don't quite feel part of something, you ask these bigger questions. Now, that's a wonderful genius that I want to acknowledge you for. But I hope I'm also giving you a sense of why it is so important that we're curious about these issues. This stimulates our interest, curiosity and creativity 
in a way that would resonate for generations on this great challenge for ours and coming generations, this challenge of our connection with the environment and the earth on which we depend for our lives. So without further ado, it's a great honour and a privilege for me to declare the exhibition of Footpath Forest open. Thank you very much. Wow. Don, you've got me spellbound, and that's the reason why you're here. I was fascinated by your um, introduction, so thank you, Don, for opening my um, exhibition for the forest. And thank you, family, friends, and colleagues for coming, and I really value your support so much. Thank you. These are superbly uh, executed works in their own right. And for that, that makes them doubly special. And so the creative side of the composition is further enhanced by the selection of the colours that make up the palette. So Rachel, <laughs> we love the work. Um, congratulations.